we have purchased a red brick home on the central coast of New South Wales, a true ugly duckling. And whilst most people have told me it should be knocked down, I have a vision to transform this home into a Palm Springs inspired masterpiece. My name is James Treble, an interior designer with over 30 years experience in the building and design industry. And whilst I've worked with countless clients, developers, and some of the largest builders in the country, this time it's personal. I've got to say, I'm very excited about the whole renovation process, but for Sandra, I know it's a little bit overwhelming. The issue is though, he has to be on site. In fact, he's sleeping on site on a blow up mattress. That allows him to be there for the early morning deliveries and to clean up at the end of the day when everyone's gone home. We've been going on for two months now and um, it's doing my head in big time, um, big time. So I spend most of my time up here cleaning up after the tradies. Uh, they think, I'm a bit strange. Uh, for them, this is a work site for me. It's where I live. I have uh, created a panic room. That's where I have the computer, so I can actually do my job. And uh, that's where I sleep at night on an inflatable mattress. The best part of the day for me is when the tradies leave. Um, I do get the vacuum cleaner out, I clean up again, once again, and, uh, and then I get out of the house, I go to the beach, I jump in the water, the ocean is beautiful here, and uh, that reminds me why all this. It's been hard, I, I, I wasn't prepared to this, to how much work goes on, how many decisions, uh, the money that goes out, um, I believe People are laughing at me because um, I might be a clean freak, yeah. And I understand it's a work site. So when the, when the tradies need to talk to me, if they can find me, if I'm not in a panic room, they listen to the sound of the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's where I am. Our renovation project is at a major turning point. After months and months of work, reimagining the floor plan and the facade, removing the old and installing the new, all of this whilst watching the budget and the timeline, it's finally time for our brand new roof to be installed. We have a very tight timeline to deal with as the process of removing an old roof and installing a new roof means that little lag time in between where there's no roof at all and this is an issue. The first step is to remove those old and damaged roof tiles. We've contacted a company that does recycle them. They've delivered a bin on site and we've had it positioned as close as we can to the back of the house. That way the boys can easily throw them off the roof into the bin. These roof tiles will be recycled into new concrete products. So it's a great result for the environment and a win-win overall. The next step is to prepare that timber roof frame for the new metal roof to go on top. It involves adding new timber battens. They've been placed at intervals which suits the profile of our new roof. This was great because until the roof was removed, we actually didn't know that some of the timbers were damaged. Now we've had some really nice sunny days lately, but our coastal location means that we do get strange weather out of the blue. We've done all we can to protect our house and keep it watertight during that process of removing the roof and installing a new one. But one of the biggest storms that we've had in years arrives on the central coast. We're down in Sydney. We've received a call from our neighbour saying the tarps have come loose and are flapping all over the roof. They say neighbours become good friends and our neighbours definitely have. Fortunately, he also called my brother and he called Paul at the same time, our builder. Both of them have arrived on site and are dealing with the fact that these tarps are loose right in the middle of a windy storm. It's overwhelming. Having a tight timeline means we're not doing things in necessarily a conventional way. We've already had the new plasterboard installed for the ceiling and the walls inside the house. Now the roof is off, it's open to the elements. After a really anxious night, Sandra and I are on our way up to survey the damage. So just driven up from Sydney, we have had massive storms overnight right up and down the east coast and we know it went through up here in your minor as well. Uh, the tarps that have been on the roof because the roof tiles are off waiting for the new roof to start tomorrow um, have taken off in the air and 
uh, let some water in. Wrong. As we've just driven up now, there's trees down on the side of the roads on the motorway coming up. We're about to drive to the house now and uh, I'm feeling a little bit stressed about what we're going to see. But it is what it is and we'll deal with it, the fun part of renovation. Well, we arrived on site and luckily it's not as bad as we think. And talking to the neighbours, the wind was really strong but it actually wasn't heavy with rain. I can see two very slight patches on the ceiling so we might just have to give it another coat of paint to take the mark out. Um, that's the worst, there's a tiny little mark in the front bedroom but otherwise I think we came through pretty unscathed which is amazing. The sun has returned right in time for Julian and the team to arrive and start installing the roof. It's certainly all hands on deck at the renovation. It's day one for the roofers. The painters are still finishing off painting the eaves. Paul and the boys are still doing some building works. We've got Christian working on the stone and the painters inside the house as well as the tilers. On top of all of this, it's time to get a delivery from Brickworks. Can it get any more chaotic? On the back of this truck is the delivery of our masonry and breeze blocks. I am so excited. A major part of our Palm Springs renovation is to add the masonry blocks and breeze blocks that I saw in so many homes in Palm Springs. Now, I've been dealing with the team at Brickworks for years. They've got a great range of bricks that I regularly use for my clients' projects. But what I've gone to them for this particular project is their range of masonry products and breeze blocks. The finish on their masonry blocks elevates it to a beautifully stylish architectural feature. And their breeze blocks, well, they have a massive range, giving me great options of what to choose to help add texture to our facade. After all of the options available and much discussion between Sandra and I, we decided to go with the arc profile. These beautiful curves will add some nice softness to the sharp lines of our facade. That contrasting element will help elevate our beautiful new Palm Springs inspired look. Not only is it a heavy material, there's also pallets and pallets of products. Now the fun and games is to work out where we're gonna store them all, to make them easy to access when we need them, but to keep them out of the way for the roof installation. The first step is to install the gutters. Now I have a great understanding of the building and design process, but personally I had no idea how much detail goes into installing gutters. They look like they're straight, but of course they're not. They're actually angled, allowing the water to leave the roof, sit into the gutter, and then flow to the nearest downpipe. It's all about getting that water off your roof as quickly as possible. Now that those roof tiles have been removed, you can see those holes through the original sarking. Those holes combined with the damaged roof tiles is obviously a reason why there was water damage inside our home. Another part of this preparation stage is to install the valleys. This creates a channel for water to flow where two different roof lines meet. They also have to include the flashing. Now we are installing flashing around the frame for our brand new feature stone wall. This is important because the water is going to flow off the roof and hit the side of that new stone wall. Water could therefore go up and in and into our roof cavity. That flashing in effect creates another gutter hard up against our new stone wall so that the water will leave the roof and not enter our roof cavity. The boys are installing a brand new Anticon blanket. This is an insulated material that goes on top of those new roof rafters and underneath the new metal roof. Our beautiful new roof will be watertight, quiet and thermally rated to deal with the cold or warm months. We have a lot of trades on site all at once. It's great to watch these professionals as they all interact and do their separate jobs. I'm used to being on site because that's part of my role as an interior designer. Whilst we watch all of them doing it, I think sadly Sandro is not quite used to it. We try to be careful, but he's banged his head on a fresh cut piece of gutter. I just walked into a, uh, a pole that was sticking out. They were moving around. It wasn't their fault and it wasn't my fault. It just wasn't 
play before. Just so you know. We just don't need this nose to be any bigger and swollen than it is. Do I get a kiss? I kiss it better. How do I look? Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, just be gentle with it, it's broken the skin. Okay, good. Nice. I'm going to wash my face. It's drawn a little bit of blood, but fortunately it's not too serious. In fact, I think it's going to increase Sandro's rugged good looks. Day one was all about the preparation. Day two is time for the roof to be installed. Chris and his team from Number One Roofing have arrived early and they have brought with them the Snapline 45 machine. Buddy, super excited to have you here. When I saw the truck coming down the road, I knew it was a big day. This is an awesome machine. Thanks very much for having us, James. It is definitely an amazing machine. Uh, everyone's excited to be here. The roof is uh, just up on the roof at the moment, measuring up. Mm. Our boys are behind us, just setting the last little finer touches up on the machine and shortly we'll get rolling. Well, rolling's a big term, mate. I can see those two rolls come there. So, so a traditional standing seam roof would need a ply substrate underneath mm. the, uh, the profile. The ability of our, our Snapline 45 has the ability to free span battens. That flat wide pan lets lots of water leave the roof, plus it cleans the roof every time it uh, rains. Yeah, that's correct. So our Snap 145 has the ability to come down at a low pitch. Mm. Uh, having the wide pan as well allows water to, to come off the, the roof. So tell me about this process of being able to get the machine started. So because we're manufacturing on site today, we've got the generator here, which will power the machine. Shortly we'll get going and we'll start to manufacture the sheets and then we'll get them ready for the roof. So James, the Black Label Roofing team are up on the roof frame at the moment. They're just measuring the roof. They'll bring that cutting list down to us and shortly we'll start manufacturing the sheets to size. I'm so excited to watch this team at work. They definitely know what they're doing. The sun is shining, everyone's happy and they are cracking on with this roof as they start to install all of those new panels, clicking them all into place and starting to create our brand new roof. A few issues with our certification process has meant that the brand new foyer will be seen as a separate part of our construction. There are two separate parts creating our renovation. The first is cosmetic, that includes the new wall, the new roofing, the paint and internal changes. The structural change is the new foyer and the rear pergola. Both of these are being dealt with by the certifier. We've been cracking on with the cosmetic changes to our home, getting ready for the certifier to arrive on site and start the lodgement for the brand new entry foyer. To assist with this, Paul has installed a vertical piece of timber against the wall that Christian is applying the stone onto. This is where the brand new front wall of the entry foyer will engage into that stone wall. It allows Christian to create a beautiful clean line on either side, the exterior and the brand new interior. It will end up looking like it's always been there. Every one of our trades is doing an awesome job, but we can't control the weather. Continue watching part two of this episode as our new roof is only half completed, yet even more rain arrives.